So you know that a plastic has BPA in it. If you look on the bottom of it, it has a little recyclable uh, triangle on it, and it has a number seven. That's a, chem that's a plastic that has BPA in it. An exposure of BPA means that at some point uh, you've had the BPA or some other whatever you're being exposed to um, either ingested or inhaled or absorbed through your skin. An exposure does not mean, though, that you're toxic from it or that it's at a level that actually can cause harm. Um, well, everybody is exposed to them. So anybody who obviously drinks out of um, a plastic cup has, is drinking something with um, BPA in them. Now, most children are obviously playing with plastic toys. They're playing with the, you know, drinking out of plastic cups, eating out of plastic bowls. Um, and so children are going to be more susceptible to that exposure than adults are. Um, uh, most of the time, though, the plastics are fairly stable, so you're not going to actually have a lot of what we call leaching out of the plastic, but uh, when you do see the leaching of the BPA out of the plastic, it's usually when the plastic's been heated, so that's like when you put it into a microwave, for example, to heat up things. What we don't know is, at, again, at what level can cause harm. Um, the amount that we have from a BPA in our bodies is actually very low. The FDA, is, is, uh, the Food and Drug Administration, is, is very well aware of the research that, that's um, going on. And right now, they have said that uh, it is okay to use plastics that have BPA in it, but you need to be smart about actually using them. Um, the plastics that have these were never intended to be put in microwaves. You know, they were never intended to be heated up. Um, and so if they're not heated up and they're not, um, then the chances of the BPA coming out of it are very, very slim. So we just have to use the products appropriately. Um, so if you are a mom and you're going to heat up your formula for your baby, you heat it up in a glass product because that's actually going to be safer. Nothing's going to come out of glass because glass is glass and there's no chemicals in that. Um, and then let it cool off because you don't want to give your baby some hot formula or hot milk anyway, let it cool off in the glass and then pour it into the, the bottle, the, the plastic bottle. Um, the chances of anything coming out of it are very, very minute, and so you're actually keeping your baby safe and obviously doing things that you're supposed to do, because again, these are not supposed to be products that are heated.